Second week of Lent, March 6, Monday. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Colette. First reading, a reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verses 4b to 10. O Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments, we have sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and rebelled turning aside from your commandments and rules. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. To you, O Lord, belongs righteousness, but to us open shame, as at this day to the men of Judah, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel, those who are near and those who are far away, in all the lands to which you have driven them, because of the treachery that they have committed against you. To us, O Lord, belongs open shame to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against him and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God by walking in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 36 to 38. At the time, Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use it will be measured back to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Moses tells the people, to be holy because God is holy. In Matthew, Jesus tells us to be perfect because our Heavenly Father is perfect. In Luke, we are told to be merciful as our Heavenly Father is merciful. Pope Francis tells us Jesus is the merciful face of the Father. Mercy is an important virtue in Christianity. In Luke's Gospel, Jesus feels compassion for the people who are like sheep without a shepherd. The prodigal son's father feels compassion for his son who is lost. The good Samaritan feels compassion for the wounded person. This virtue of compassion and mercy impels and compels them to act. In what way does my compassion for someone impel me to act? What are the hurdles in acting upon this feeling? Amen. To all the listeners, have a blessed and meaningful Lenten season. May the blessing and grace of Jesus Christ be upon you and your family members. Amen.